Congress rejects talks of alliance with Arvind Kedjarwal's app. Delhi Congress Chief Ajay Makan has rejected talks of an alliance with Arvind Kedjarwal's app. Ajay Makan Congress rejects talks of alliance with Arvind Kedjarwal's app. Sparks war on Twitter Delhi Congress Chief Ajay Makan has rejected talks of an alliance with Arvind Kedjarwal's app. New Delhi, Congress party on Saturday dismissed talks of an alliance with Arvind Kedrawal led Am Admi Party, app, in Delhi ahead of 2019 Lok Sabha polls. Dismissing speculation of an alliance with the app, Delhi Congress Chief Edge A. Makin said Kedrawal was responsible for the rise of the BJP and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The one who has defamed the Congress and has created a monster called Modi is Arvind Kedriwal. I, as the President of Delhi Pradesh Congress Committee, on behalf of all the Congress leaders and workers, confirm that no one from our party wants to support Kedriwal. When the people are not supporting him, we will also not support, Macon said. The clarification came in the wake of media reports that App and Congress are reportedly in talks for a Karnataka-like alliance in Delhi ahead of the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. Sources also claim that informal talks between the Congress and App started on May 24, with Jerem Ramesh and Ajay Makan representing the former. Soon after Macon cleared the air on speculated DAP Congress alliance, Delhi Congress spokesperson Sharmis Mukherjee too came down heavily on the Delhi's ruling party for fabricating false news. Responding to it, the Amadmi party on Saturday asked the Congress to show guts and announce its candidates for the seven Delhi Lok Sabha seats for the 2019 general elections. Convener Arvind Kedrawal's media advisor Nagender Sharma said, Macon, after being rejected in politics, was trying his hand at cephalogy. Having led his party to security deposits being lost in 6370 Delhi constituencies, he is now measuring graphs. Show guts and declare your seats, Sharma tweeted. Referring to results of the KI Rana by Foles LT in Uttar Pradesh, Sharma said that it clearly indicated that non-BJP parties need not be led by the Congress. This old party hobnobs with the BJP and treats other parties with disdain. Its Delhi unit is a virtual BJP front, Sharma alleged. In a sarcastic tweet targeting Congress, Sharma said, a joker first daydreams of three Lok Sabha seats offer, then next day realizes nobody on earth will leave and spare a single seat for a party which finished a poor third on all seven Delhi seats in 2014 and lost its security deposit in four seats. Delhi Congress spokesperson Shah Mistha Mukherjee to join the Twitter war and asked the app if Kedrawal can openly reject the possibility of an alliance with the Congress. Instead of you chirping, let your leader Arvind Kedrawal come out openly and reject the possibility of an alliance. Planting false stories in the media and personal abuses will not lead you anywhere, Mukherjee said. The app is facing an existential crisis. No wonder it is desperate for an alliance with the Congress, a party and its leaders whom Kedjar will abuse unabashedly. If he has courage and conviction, let him immediately quash rumors and reject these stories as false as Macon is doing. She said between the 2015 Assembly and the 2017 MCD elections. The app lost vote share by 54.30% and the Congress gained by 118.66%.
No rocket science required to understand which party is losing or gaining ground rapidly. No wonder the app is so desperate for an alliance with, the, Congress, she tweeted. McGurgy said Macon had been consistently exposing the failures and misdeeds of the app government since the last three and a half years. No wonder, app members are crying for his blood. A J. Macon has been consistently exposing failures and misdeeds of app govt since last 3.5 years. No wonder app members are crying for his blood. App plus BJP both are Jumla parties and specialize in creating false narratives she said the app and the BJP were both Jumla parties and specialize in creating false narratives.